this document is the foundation of my work. I want to read it for you here so that you can implement it into your belief system, into your own reality. Because this paragraph is going to affect how you live your life, what your experience is like. CIA paranormal study proves the Holy Spirit and holographic universe true. Absolute is the model around which the evolution of time space revolves to ultimately attain a reflection of and union with him. That thought model which perfectly reflects the essence or spirit of the absolute fits the Christian metaphysical description of the Holy Spirit. Finally, our description of the universal hologram, the Taurus of creation and evolution, is neither new nor original. Its use as the figure of the universe of creation developing in evolution is found in various stylized representations in virtually every religious system of antiquity, whether of Eastern or Western derivation. Whether it's the stylized labyrinth, once popular in the Hellenic world, the spiralized version of the Hebrew tree of life, or its Hindu counterpart, or the Chinese spiral through the fourfold powers. The ultimate meaning is the same. Mystics the world over, it seems, have perceived the universal hologram in the same spiral form and have incorporated that intuitive knowledge in their religious writings from antiquity to the present. What does that mean? That means when you're looking at reality as a hologram, holograms contain smaller version of holograms, no matter how small you go, the full image is available in each of the small parts. So what this is saying here is, is this whole spiral thing that the mystics have seen, that spiral's called a fractal. That spiral's called a fractal. Scientists know fractals exist in the universe. You can look at shells, different stuff like that that's circular and spins. It's kind of like a spiral that's spinning around in a hypno hypnosis or hypnotherapy. So what does this mean? It means that all of the religions contain a truth that unifies all of them together. Now, the other parts here go into basically how to use, utilize the other stuff in here basically goes into how do you utilize this information for propaganda purposes. If you want to get a population to do what you want, this tells you how to do it. So for me, at the end of the day, once I saw all the propaganda everywhere, once you learn about the subconscious and how people act based on the story that they have conditioned into their mind that was put there by the outer world from all of the media. Then you go, okay, well, if all these people are getting exposed to these ideas and narratives, is it benefiting them? And the answer is no, it's not benefiting them at all. So why would the powers that make the media be having us consume media that's harmful for our own existence. Like why would somebody be putting ideas in our head that make us in our own way? Right? So let's go on to the next part. Left brain limitations. 20th century physics would seem to be revisiting insights belonging to mankind as far back as written records can take us. The only difference is that 20th century physics is using a left brain, linear, quantitative style of reasoning to approach the same knowledge which the mystics of old apparently acquired in a holistic, intuitional, right brain style. As a tool in the hands of left brain culture, gateway, which would be this study, would seem to be a promising method for achieving the intuitive holistic type of interface 
with the universal hologram. In other words, that's life mastery. That's personal development classes. That's knowing thyself so you can win the game. You have to master the rules. Gateway would seem to be a promising method for achieving the intuitive, holistic type of interface with the universal hologram. Needed to provide the context that thinkers like Einstein have sought in their labors to discover a unified field theory in physics. That means that when you're in these altered states of consciousness, that you can have insights to understand how reality operates. In other words, like they say in X-Files, the truth is out there. You can actually figure out where you are. The information's available. It's just being hidden. The majority of it's, well, I'm not going to say where it is, but it's hidden. For persons in our profession, which would be the military and the CIA, whose concerns revolve around strategic issues, tactical questions, and matters of managerial form and system. That means, how do we control what people think, focus on, and do? So this program gives access to a new world of intuitive perception and self-reflection would seem to offer in the long term, the means by which to know in a truly objective way. That means knowing thyself, realizing that your outer world doesn't exist. You're in a hologram, your outer world's the story that's programmed in your subconscious. And you can live in any number of infinite holograms, but it all depends on what you believe in your subconscious that you don't know because nobody knows what's in their subconscious by definition. It's subconscious, so your consciousness is unaware of it. If you want to become aware of it, 